This is my fully DIY racing simulator. And it is missing some pedals. Getting off the shelf once is no option since, uh, yeah, let's open card. The design for these pedals will be based on my force feedback steering wheel with a fully 3D printed construction and some bespoke design solutions to allow for a load cell brake and a whole sensor throttle and clutch for under 50 euros. But uh, what's so special about them? Well, uh, let's start from the most important pedal and the hardest to simulate. The brake. Like any other quality brake pedal on the market, a 150 kg load cell is used to measure the force applied. And here is where the similarities end. In fact, most of the designs available in the market mount the load cell horizontally, with a series of linkages, pistons and bushings that connect the pedal arm with the load cell and provide the correct feel. This increases complexity a lot and makes prices way higher than necessary. In fact, in my design, the load cell is not connected to the pedal arm, but is the pedal arm itself. Mounted vertically above the pivot point, with a 3D printed foot pad on one end and a leverage on the other end, that when pressed, squishes a spring to simulate the initial free stroke and then some bushings to simulate the last few millimeters of movement where the actual braking happens. Dedicated brake pedal bushings turned out to be very hard to get, so I opted for standard skateboard bushings which are much cheaper and readily available. The spring is one dedicated to brake pedals, but any other 20mm diameter spring will do the job perfectly fine. Just make sure it is not too stiff to get the proper free stroke feeling. The bushings and the spring are held in place by these two 3D printed arms that pivot around the main axle, and the whole assembly is screwed to a plywood sheet, with two SK8 blocks to provide for a strong base that will later be mounted to the cockpit. The pedal is tilt adjustable using this screw and the free stroke is limited to the correct amount using this 3D printed block that acts as an end stop for the spring travel. I already know that someone will say that the 3D printed main leverage will not be strong enough. Well, I've simulated it using standard 3D printed PLA parameters and with a 1000 newton force applied at the foot pad it showed a safety margin of 2.5. That means uh, that it should easily hold 250 kg of force at the foot pad if printed using PLA at 100% in fill. Despite that, to match the metal 3D printed bracket uh, I used on the steering wheel, I had PCBWay 3D print this organic, computer generated leverage out of steel, which made for a truly premium look. Check out PCBWay at the link below if you need any custom component to step up your projects. They provide a wide range of custom manufacturing services, offering fast turnaround times and amazing customer support, and most importantly, at a very low price. Moving on to the throttle, we can find some other interesting design choices that guarantee high performance at an affordable price. The pedal is 3D printed in one piece with a lower section that protrudes sideways a bit, requiring an M8 threaded rod to be inserted in this hole to strengthen it and avoid snapping. The pedal is again mounted to the main axle besides the brake pedal, and the whole sensor holder screwed behind it. For the whole sensor to be able to read the pedal position, we need to add a magnet here, using a second one slotted inside the pedal to attract it in place. We obviously also need a spring to allow the pedal to return to its position, and for that I've decided to use a strong tension spring with a bicycle brake cable that slots in this hole, wraps around the bottom of the pedal, forms a loop and hooks to the spring, pulling it when the pedal is pressed. Due to a lack of space, I had to attach the spring to this brace on the simulator cockpit, but if you happen to replicate this project, you can just hook the spring to an M8 screw using this 3D printed brace to support it. I've also added a pulley here to keep everything aligned, and there is also the option to use two cables and springs if you want a firmer feel or have softer springs. Next is the clutch which is similar to the throttle but needs some kind of mechanism to give its characteristic over-center feel. 
But uh, before continuing, a shout out to this video sponsor, Terminal, the minimalist ink dashboard built to cut through the noise. Instead of endless notifications, Terminal gives you just the essentials, your calendar, weather and more, all in a beautiful and glanceable display. Thanks to its plugin ecosystem, you can customize it with your own widgets. For example, you can follow Formula One in real time with upcoming race schedules, drivers standing and team rankings right on your desk. No distractions, no clutter, just the info that matters. Stay focused with Terminal, check it out at the link below. Back to the clutch pedal, we can see how it is constructed very similarly to the throttle using a bicycle brake cable to pull on a spring that gets attached behind it. One key difference is that here the pulley is shaped in such a way that as it rotates above a certain point, the distance between the cable and the axle gets smaller, making the spring feel initially very stiff and then suddenly softer because of the greater mechanical advantage, simulating perfectly well the over-center feel of a real clutch pedal. This design puts a huge amount of stress on this section of pulley, which will certainly break if made out of plastic. For that reason, a 3mm nail can be inserted to take the load and distribute it to a much wider area. The whole sensor and magnet are exactly the same as in the throttle, while the upper arm and the footpad follow the same design as the brake pedal. One last thing I want to do before calling this project finished is machining a couple of aluminum footpads to bring the look to a whole new level. For that I've used my new Carvera Air CNC machine. Just to be clear, Makera did send me this machine for review but didn't sponsor this video. I just wanted to use it for this project due to its impressive ease of use and the high quality of parts that it produces. Just a couple of machining operations and the footpads are ready and looking super premium. After screwing them on, we can really call this project finished. Mounting them to the cockpit, we can see how these new pedals have also adjusted my previously bad driving position giving me the true feeling of driving an actual car. The brake pedal is impressive to say the least, given better than my previous hydraulic actuated brake, which costed three times as much, needing custom CNC machined components, being also extremely unreliable due to having actual oil inside of it. This new design is as simple as it is effective, the free stroke feels exactly like it should, with a couple of centimeters of throw before uh, bottoming out the spring and a super firm feeling once it does, giving about uh, one centimeter of movement by pressing as hard as you can on the footpad. Because of that, modulation is superb and it actually made my driving way more precise and my laps faster and faster. Moving on to the throttle, it's basically just a spring-loaded lever and there is not much that can go wrong here. The fact that uh, it's adjustable in terms uh, of tilt and spring stiffness is a big benefit to really dial in your preferred feeling. Also, the curved footpad is quite ergonomic and follows the movement of the foot very well. The clutch feels truly like a real car, being quite stiff up front and then becoming immediately softer after the first centimeters of movement, ramping back up again at the end. I unfortunately haven't built the manual shifter yet, so the clutch is not of much use. But still, I can't wait to design a shifter and test this DIY simulator in its full state. If you want to build this a truly professional level pedal set that rivals models of 10 times its price, you can find the links below for purchasing the 3D models. You will also find a PDF with some useful build tips and instructions on how to configure everything using this Arduino Leonardo board, as well as a complete parts list with all the links to every part used. Following what I've done with my previous 3D printed force feedback steering wheel, the throttle and brake pedal files will be available for 15 euros, while the package including the clutch will be available for 20 euros. 
I want to give a massive thanks to every single one of you that purchased the files for my steering wheel. Also thanks to Terminal and PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Check them out at the link below. That is it for today, I will catch you in the next one.